Welcome to the last tutorial of this chapter. We're going to talk about my favorite tool and least mentioned called the Magic Extractor. So let's go ahead and select this woman. Right click and open in Photoshop Elements Editor. We have this picture of this beautiful lady here and we want to take her from our background. But you can see that this can be difficult because we have this lamp right next to her and we have some trees. And Well, let's, let's see what, what this Magic Extractor can do. So we go to Image. Magic Extractor. This is going to open up this big preview dialog box with simple directions. One, choose what you want to keep and just dab. All you got to do is click dab, click dab. Where does this color come from? Over here, foreground color, which you can also change your brush size. Okay. Let's see if I choose the hair here. And usually in this area, I'll just click and drag and save this part. Okay, now number two, click what you do not want to include. That's the second brush. I don't want to include the background. So let me click on it here. Let me get rid of this lamp right here. Okay, and then third, click preview and see what happens. Wow, look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You have these other brushes to further refine it if you want. I rarely use them. I'll just start all over and reapply number one and two and just preview it again. You can um, do further touch-ups. You can fill the holes or defringe, and you can define a uh, width to defringe. Let's click OK. And there you have it. Wow, really nice, huh? In less than about, what, one and a half minutes? We've already got her separated from a background. That's a lot better than using refine in the selection tools. If you can get away with it, try the Magic ex Extractor. So let me close this and let's open this here special effects advertising banner and I just wanted to show you what you what you can do and have some fun. So if you see here, I'm going to click here, click here. This background was provided by the content panel on, under backgrounds, okay? Then I used the the cookie cutter to give me the star. And then I selected her her, her face and shrunk it down a little and I did the same for her and I masked out anything else that needed to be masked out then I added some text layers before and after and you can tell that there's some effects and we have this cute little advertising banner that says before and then when you use Photoshop elements this is the after so it's a joke of course but it, and this was done in less than maybe five minutes I created this banner so it's amazing what Photoshop elements can do with this special effects, the content banner, and the magic extractor, some text effects, and a cookie cutter.